Hey everyone, and welcome to this video about finding the depth of a binary tree. I'll be explaining and implementing a function in Python used to find the depth of a recursively defined binary tree structure. Let's take a look at how the function should work. Let's imagine this is our binary tree. If we would ask our binary tree class for its depth, we would be asking the root node of this binary tree what its depth is. We can then recursively define its depth by saying this root node has a depth of 1, and then we could check if the left subtree has a larger depth, then add the left subtree depth. If the right subtree has a larger depth, then add the right subtree depth. If you think about it, this definition of the depth function works for every node in the tree. So every node in the tree could be seen as a root node of a subtree, and thus the depth function would work on one of these subtrees as well. The final thing we have to think about which is actually the first thing in our function, is the base case. So in what case do we not ask our left and right subtrees for their depth? Well, it's only in the case that our left or right subtrees are none. So if they don't exist, we don't ask for their depth, or we set their depth to zero. If the root node of the entire binary tree structure has a value of none, then we return a value of zero, since an empty tree has a depth of zero. Now let's take a look at how we can implement this in Python. We start with our base case, saying if the root value of our entire tree has a value of none, we return zero. Next, we define a variable ld, which is used to store the depth of the left subtree. We do the same for the right subtree, calling the variable rd for right depth. We define ld, the left depth, to be zero if the left subtree does not exist. Else, we say that LD is equal to asking the left subtree what its depth is, and we do the equivalent for RD and the right subtree. Finally, we say return 1 plus, and this 1 plus accounts for the current root node that is being asked for its depth, and what we add to the one is either the left depth, if the left depth is greater than the right depth, and else we add the right depth. To summarize, this means that the depth of a binary tree that is not empty equals 1 plus the depth of the deepest subtree. Let's create the binary tree that we see on the right and then ask it to calculate its depth. As you can see, we get the depth that we expect, which is a depth of 4. Thank you for watching, and if you learned something new in this video, please leave a like. And if you want to learn more about binary search trees or other computer science related topics, consider subscribing or checking out my binary search tree playlist. Have a nice day. Peace.